Okay, so you've each got a handout, which is basically the, what the, the slides that I'm going to be going through. So I'm mainly going to be focusing on the grants for the arts funding, um, because that's the, that's the main one that artists uh, uh, apply to and art organisations apply to, so it seems um, most appropriate for me to concentrate on that. Um, within the slides it also lists other funding that the Arts Council um, provides as well, but grants for the arts is the main one, the first port of call really. I'll just also tell you a little bit about what the Arts Council does, what our mission is and what our goals are, so then that's sort of, you understand the context a little bit more of, of what we're trying to do. Then I'll talk about the Grants for the Arts programme, what you can apply for, um, what we're looking for in your application if you, if you decide to apply, how it's assessed and how decisions are made, and then some tips on, them, uh, on when you're applying. So the Arts Council is a development agency, so we're at arm's length from, from government, so we receive um, government funding, um, which um, they decide, the government decides how much money we get each year to spend on arts organisations. And um, like I said, we call the organisations that we directly fund, we call them national portfolio organisations. Then we also are a lottery distributor. So um, the arts is one of the um, good causes um, of, the, of the lottery. So we give out um, money to artists and arts organisations. And that uh, one of the strands of that is called Grants of the Arts. So that's, it's lottery money from Grants of the Arts. Um, but if you're not able to receive lottery funding, um, there is a, a, point, a bit on the form where you can tick and say no, you prefer not to receive lottery funding and then you would receive um, money from else, elsewhere. Our mission is great art for everyone and our mission statement is on your slides there. I think it's the, might be the, fourth, the fourth slide, so on the, second, on the second page. So, our mission statement is to get great art to everyone by championing, developing and investing in artistic experiences that enrich people's lives. So they're quite grand statements uh, to make. Um, we're not saying that, um, um, you know, that's what we're striving towards. So, it's not a case of that we're going to, um, you know, getting great art to everyone is quite, quite difficult. So, um, you know, it's something that we're, that we're constantly striving towards. And we have a 10-year strategy to achieve great art for everyone, um, which looks sort of like this. Uh, and this was launched um, in 2011. Um, and it's got our five goals in it that we, we're concentrating on over the next 10 years. Um, after this was written, the government then decided to abolish the museum, libraries and archives at MLA and the Arts Council was asked to take on the role of museums and libraries. So because of that we had an additional book made to, uh, to um, explain how we're going to um, work with museums and libraries. So these, kind of, uh, these are our two, they kind of work hand in hand. So we've got five goals. The first one, these are on your uh, handout as well. The first one is talent and artistic excellence are thriving and celebrated. So this is about um, England being the centre of artistic excellence. And it's about making sure excellent art happens. And the emerging and experienced artists are able to develop their talents. And we're particularly interested in... Um, um, and, uh, in diversity in arts practice because we feel that um, um, without diversity in the arts then it's quite bland <laughs> you know it's, it's, the, it's diversity is what gives arts it, its richness really um, goal two is around more people experiencing and being inspired by the arts so that's making sure that arts are at the centre of people's lives and that more people get to um, take part in arts activities. Um, it's also about making sure that we're investing in art which will be experienced by people who don't often benefit from arts experiences and that could be for a whole range of reasons. It might be their location, if they're you know, 
in a rural setting and they don't have the arts infrastructure of, 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 of in a city. Um, or it might be due, you know, there could be a whole host of reasons, but it's about, so we're striving to make sure that people get to experience the arts, wherever, whatever their background, wherever they live in the world. Goal three is around the arts are sustainable, resilient and innovative. So that's about making arts organisations more financially resilient, so looking at ways that they can diversify their income, um, maybe it's around actually having earned income, um, so they're not wholly reliant on public funding. Because, as you're probably aware, funding to the arts is been getting smaller and smaller, so it's really important for arts organisations, if they're going to survive, to work out how they're going to um, bring in other forms of income. Goal four is around leadership and the workforce being diverse and highly skilled. We want to make sure that there's um, route access points and routes into the arts for, for everybody. So it's not just um, for people that are able to do free internships, for example, or people that, that have gone down the route of going to university and into arts. It should be um, open to everybody that's, that's uh, talented in the arts. So, Goal four is around, around that. And then goal five is about, is every child and young person has the opportunity to experience the richness of the arts. So that one nice speaks for itself. So next, I was going to show you a film, which I'm not able to do, unfortunately. But um, I, if on our, the Arts Council, I'm sure I think it's on the website or not. What I can do is I can ask Hannah to, I can give you the link to it, because there's, um, there's uh, various films that the Arts Council made, just to give examples of, um, of what we fund, which is quite, quite useful, so I'll, I'll send the link on the screen.